Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for part number 15 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Into the Future. So, after um, the previous part's butchered mishap, we hopefully have got everything under control right now. One thing I did notice is that I didn't even freaking supply the green room with any lights or anything like that, so it's kind of dark in here. Um, if you've given me suggestions on, uh, you know, how to get the little pedestal thingies, and I you know, don't get them or whatever in this part. And that's simply because I have actually filmed these so close together that I haven't even uploaded part 14 yet. So we're not going to really focus in on um, getting the legacy statue quite yet. We're going to probably do that in um, the next part. So actually looks like, uh, you know, Nebula here wants to throw a party and learn the handiness skill. There is something I did want her to do, and that is to change the um, previous, you know, dystopian future into a more positive experience. So let's go ahead and summon the time traveler. Um, and we are going to go ahead and do that. And let's see, he needs a little fun in his life. He actually wants to play a game with TikTok. Or he wants to play hopscotch. Why is it that all... Oh my gosh, that seriously makes me feel like I'm having a seizure. <laughs> Why do all my sims want to play hopscotch? Like, I just don't get it. Um, but we are going to give her a friendly hug. And I'm going to um, try to tune her up again. And then see if maybe he can, like, go do something a little fun. I don't know. I feel bad for him. Oh, we got a phone call and I totally didn't even hear it. Let's go ahead and answer that real fast and see who it could be. I don't know. I really don't know. We only know like a few people here, so it'd be kind of I was kinda of hoping it would be Tosh. Not gonna lie. But it isn't. Alright. And I wonder what ever happened to him. Like he couldn't pay his bills, but he seems to be doing quite fine. So we're gonna have Neb go ahead and serve up a little a little Mac and cheese. And then after that we'll have her talk to this guy here. So hopefully everything is going well. Did we tune her up? She's not even, oh, she's really crabby. So let's try this one more time. She may not let us. She may tell us up yours again, but no, she seems to be okay. We're gonna have her go ahead and come in here and uh, let's do recharge. Sure. <sighs> he's hungry too. So let's go ahead and have him eat. I don't think there's anything really fun for him to do. So he's gonna go clean the, uh, clean this here we should probably like buy a tv like we have the money i don't know why jen's being so damn cheap so let's go purchase a tv like i wish they would do something a little more productive than play a tv but uh oh i wonder if there's bot building skill and multi-tab should do we should get the multi-tab wow that's a lot of money okay so we got a multi-tab now since that actually works in my game which i think is a first because i pretty positive since i've even done all these um well, this is only 150 bucks. Hell yeah for custom content, but I don't like it. Um, but I think the whole entire time I've done like LPs, it's never worked on my channel, but it used to. Um, we're just gonna put in like a generic kind of TV, I think, you know? And we'll make it match everything else. So here we go. Okay, let's just go ahead and plop that over. And of course, Jen's having issues once again with her stuff stupid palette changer thingy such an annoyance let's let's wait wait for it wait for it oh could it be it actually worked <laughs> okay let's try this again Doo -doo. beautiful beautiful i love it okay sloppy joes let's get this let's get the show going so while mom's making some uh, some mac and cheese and her skimmies. We'll clean up the sink for her because we're just in an awesome sun like that. And we age up in six more days. We're gonna just watch some TV. Sure, why not? Get our get our stress levels kind of down a little bit. He really wants to see his dad. And since I have installed um, the bowling alley, maybe uh, tomorrow. Since I don't think we have time tonight, we'll maybe invite him out or something. All of us will go as a family. Nebula, sorry, you're not gonna get out of this one. Um. And she actually wants to learn a gardening skill. Oh, we can add a herb. Oh, I am not adding any seeds. Nice try, dude. Um, it's not really a herb, is it? Did I say put away leftovers? Of course I did. Of course I did. Of course. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Make everything more hard on myself. All right. Well, whatever. Whatever. All right. Let's go over here and have some. Actually, you know what? Why don't you have some autumn salad? And then she wants to also learn her gardening skill. Do we not have any? None at all whatsoever. 
So what's more important, a handiness skill or a gardening skill? For her, probably a gardening skill. Because it helps her job improve uh, performance. So enough watching the TV there, little dude. And let's go and uh, eat something with your mom. I know. Cry about it. Okay, hurry up. Chop, chop. Choppity, chop, chop. All right, let's see if these plants need anything at all. <gasps> Look at their little raccoon. That's the little culprit that likes to destroy my freaking garbage cans and throw stuff all over the yard. Yeah, I know. I know who you is. Um, who you might be. Anyways, let's go and um, help repair the future. That's what I wanted to do. I want to repair the future. Yep, I feel terrible for what I've done. I am a sad, sad worm, and I want to repair the future. Yep. We also got to make sure Tosh here does really good in school and learns tons of skills. So, I actually think Nebula can learn how to do the gardening school, or gardening school, gardening skill on her tabcast. So, undoing the ruin. Our innocent, well-intentioned experience has gone away. Um, surprisingly, or surprising how often that happens. Oh, the future has become a filthy, polluted, meteor-scarred dystopia. If we're going to fix it, these myriad, these, the Meteors are priority one. Warn those genus geniuses. Oh, geniuses. Geez, Jen. <laughs> yeah, you can't even say genius. <laughs> I was just, I was just testing you. You caught that? Okay, let's move on. Um, at the science lab of the coming meteor apocalypse. See, got that one. One for one. Okay. Rock on, crouton. You got it, broski. Uh, let's go ahead and do this real fast just because I feel like it. And you are sitting here ever so lonely. Poor dude. Um, and let's go ahead and put this in our inventory. Actually, they're going to kind of have to share this. He doesn't need to learn any skills right now as much as she does. So we'll put that in our inventory and she can kind of multitask. Do we have anything in here we're selling? No, we don't really have anything we're selling. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow her and uh, see what she is up to. I cannot even believe it's 9.33 at night because the sun is still shining and it's actually now setting. But I guess that's kind of summer for you. So describe a radical idea. Huh. Let's see if someone can think outside of the box. Like your sim or something like that. That'd be interesting. I don't really think she thinks outside of the box. I kind of feel like Nebula is very narrow-minded, mind you, but that's okay. Give her the benefit of the doubt. Okay, what, what do I read first? It says reverse psychology. Since your fellow Sims' collective um, belief in doomsday <laughs> brought ruin about, or about, brought ruin about on its own collective disbelief is only thing that can undo this dystopia stopping the meteors isn't enough you must return to the community and convince them that the sky really isn't falling okay so we'll have to return once we um do the whole other uh other thing that we have to do which is the life statue stuff so i guess for the time being or for the remainder of this part until i figure out where the hell the stupid podiums are um, we will have to, uh, what you call her? We'll have to just kind of chill. So we're going to let him use the bathroom. I think he doesn't have school tomorrow, so he doesn't really need to worry about anything else. We're going to also let him sleep. I want to know if we have one of those little, um, arithmicon things. I don't think we do. So I actually kind of want to purchase one of those two as well. I don't really feel the need to upgrade our house quite yet here. I kind of like it, and there's tons of lot space, so we'll probably stay here. I don't think we'd move into another lot, because we kind of would have to be crazy to. But uh, for now, until I feel like we're kind of, you know, outgrowing this place, I'll just kind of expand it. So I am not sure if I can buy one just right out of the... No, I don't think so. I might be able to. I'm looking. Hold on. Um... I guess the best way to do this would be kind of filtering things out, huh? That's what it's there for. But of course, I never use it. Okay, there we are. The Arithmicon. Where would you be? If I was an Arithmicon, where would I be? Wouldn't be there. Would I be? Oh, I have one. Oh, do I have one? All right, let's just put it right here just in case we don't have one. And we can put it right in the middle of the living room because that's how we roll. Right here. Yeah, just right here. <laughs> $950. Are you serious? Oh, we have one. Oh, okay. So let's just sell this one then. Whatever. We lost 150 bucks. No big deal. No big deal. 
Um, but I just wanted to make sure I had it and I wouldn't lose it again. So there we go. What? Right there. Okay. All right. So I think everyone's pretty much going to go ahead and hit the sack. Um, and Nebula is probably just going to use the bathroom, take a quick shower. She needs a little social in her life, so maybe she'll hit up Tosh, see what he's been doing lately. She definitely needs to get some friends. Um, so maybe even we, if we went to the library and, like, you know, met people or put in our dating profile and see if we got any messages, we could maybe even look for friends that way. I don't know. I don't really care if it's a boy or a girl at this point. She just needs a friend. Oh, two days. Believes the sky isn't falling nebula educated herself on the freshest science she's relieved to know the world isn't ending the sun will rise tomorrow oh 2012 anyone remember that when the world was ending and i like heard the craziest stories ever that people were buying um well people were building bunkers and they were using their retirement money to build bunkers under the ground and i know the whole the whole like saying um you know better safe than sorry but like why would you want to be in a world that's like looks like you know a, a dystopia you know oasis landing i just i don't even understand it. but whatever to each their own i guess so i'm gonna let everyone go ahead and go to sleep and when the morning comes we shall rise okay so nebula is the first one up and she actually is feeling out of sorts, which is nothing new. She's psychotic, but that's okay. It's one of the things she wanted to feel, so whatever. I'm totally cool with that. Um, we're going to actually go ahead and kind of change up her appearance a little bit. I'm kind of sort of thinking the pink and blue hair is a signature of hers, of course, but I kind of want to, like, switch up the style and maybe her makeup a little bit. I don't know if I'll keep her hair pink and blue. I think I will because that's just kind of her, her scene, you know? Um, but we're going to just check out some hairstyles and see if anything else suits her. I feel like that's actually really pretty on her. She looks awesome with updos. Like, she looks pretty much or pretty good in any hair. And you know what? I hate when this happens. Like, when you get, like, a freaking five head on your Sims because <laughs> instead of a four head, you get a five head. Um, because your Sims, like, the hairs are just crazy. But there's, like, a whole bunch of different ones. And I know you guys are asking me, where did I get these? Okay. Google search free sims three hairs okay i'm telling you that's where i find them and then like filter it out Ooh, that's pretty filter it out through images okay that's a one my sims three blog not my actual sims three blog but it's called my sims three blog has a lot of them tumblr um hashtag sims three content sims three cc ts three cc also works mod the sims and the sims resource is probably all the places i oh geez beehive um that i've frequented in the past where you could probably find some of these hairstyles so i'm just not really seeing anything i've kind of been trying a whole bunch of them um so you guys can kind of see my custom content i guess but it'd be helpful if i knew where i got it wouldn't it <laughs> we're just gonna kind of see and when one speaks to me that will be the one i pick that's what she had okay um, this is kind of Carly's current hair, even though it looks awesome on Neb. Um, let's just keep peeking. I'm not really in a rush. Are you? <laughs> this is actually gorgeous. Like, dude, goddess hair. Why are you so beautiful, Nebula? I have no idea. And it's kind of funny that you all thought, like, this was my interpretation of myself. No, definitely not. I don't really think I look like her. Um, maybe a little bit. Let's see. What if she had brown hair? Now what did she, now would it look like me? Actually, yeah, maybe a little bit, except the fact that I don't have blue eyes. Oh my gosh, she looks so weird with blue hair. Okay, let's go back. I don't like it. Or brown hair. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, okay, one more time. One more time. Okay, I think we should be almost back to her hair color. Dude, I shouldn't have done that. Now my game's like being stupid. All right, um, there was one I did like up there, so maybe I'll pick that one. Let's see. We got all sorts of cool stuff. Some freaking roaring heights this one's cute i love her and updos but um i kind of thinking there's another one i really liked that i just downloaded actually and it's from tumblr i know that for a fact and i used hashtag the sims 3 cc i believe yeah sounds about right <clears throat> and I, i'll show you the one i got hold on a second hopefully you guys don't mind this <clears throat> Oh my god, Jesus. Oh my lord. No offense, but I'm like so dry. Like cotton mouth to the extreme. 
Okay, let's try this one. I kind of—I don't know if I'm gonna like this, dude. She's got like a bee's nest. Hell yeah, love it. This is Snooky hair, Guida style. <laughs> I actually really like this hairstyle. I got this is the one I got from Tumblr. I think it's cute, and then it comes with flowers if you want flowers. Um, dude, seriously. <laughs> Where's my car? There we go. Okay. So we can do it with the flowers too. I'll just show you what the flowers look like. But I like it with the flowers. And I think it looks makes her look all sorts of gouges. So let's go ahead and do some makeup. I got these off of the same hashtag. If you were wondering, like the, the makeup and stuff. The same same um, same phrase there. We could do all. Ooh, this is actually really pretty. Like, um, hello. All right. Let me do inner corner. Let's do an inner corner highlight. A little bit lighter. I think I kind of want to do something a little funky. Maybe some green or something. I actually kind of like this blue. It's really pretty. And then we'll do like a darker blue. Where is this dark blue at though? I just want to know. Right there. Okay. It's not even blue. It's like black. Okay. So loving her eyeshadow. I really like her crazy hair. Remember Nebula is not normal. So she doesn't wear normal things that normal people wear. Whatever the heck that means. Maybe she is the normal and everyone else is weird. Ever thought about that? I always think about that. I think I'm the normal one and everyone else is weird. <laughs> yeah. Denial is not a river baby cakes. Ooh, look at the sheen on that. I like it. I like it. Now all she needs is a new clothing style but once we go back to into the future or once we go into the future we'll we'll pick one from there so yay i love it i like it a lot okay looks great so she is looking all sorts of devilicious and she's super hungry tucker needs to get up out of bed because it's going to be a mommy day and of course the second i say that he's all up in a mood swing he actually wants to watch a movie Oh, and he wants to stop being friends with TikTok. You've got to be joking me. That's not going to happen. So let's just go ahead and take him somewhere to eat. I don't really even care where we go. It could be the diner. Um, actually, it's a really beautiful day. So let's go ahead and eat here. With What? Why can't we? Oh, they're not open yet, Jennifer. Oh, God. They're not even open. Um, so I guess we'll just eat here with, with Tucker. And um, yeah, we'll just go have some time with him. And then after that, I'm thinking... Maybe we can go ahead and ask Tosh if he would... I'm talking so far away from the mic. Jennifer, get up. Get up in the face. Um, we can maybe ask Tosh if he would like to hang out with us. I don't know. Maybe go bowling. I think I finally actually added it in. So maybe we'll do that. And you never know. Nebula might have a freaking meltdown in the middle of the bowling alley because she didn't get a turkey. <laughs> a turkey, I believe, is three strikes. And look at her hair. Dude, you can't tell me you don't love it. You, you, you just gotta love it. It's so cute. I love it. She's just so, like, sexy. She's very sexual looking. I don't know how to say it. She's like a freaking futuristic prostitute, and that's not a compliment, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> she kind of has, like, this hooker feel to, to her, but it's because she's crazy. She just doesn't care. Anyways, I'm gonna let them go ahead and eat, and when they come out, you know the drill. That was, like, seriously the fastest <laughs> meal ever ever um and freaking nebula went out the back entrance of course and then we got dumpster diver mcgee over here who are you who is this gus gus what are you doing desperado mucho Jeez, louise <laughs> um where should we go guys it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood no, i'm just joking i will not sing uh should we go hit up the consignment store and see what's there pretty positive it's backwards but oh tosh works here doesn't he yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to go with Tucker. And I'm pretty positive that means he's not going to want to go to the bowling alley with us because he's working. But we'll go see if he works there. So we'll take our son and go see um, some vintage finds. Oh, excuse me. I totally just burped in your ear. But um, hopefully there'll be something worth actually buying. Because I don't think we've been. I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's go ahead and uh, see what's up. And then after that, we'll probably go to the bowling alley because I know Tucker wanted to go, or actually Nebula did. Oh, Tosh, you are so cute. Oh, Nebula, what were you thinking? Let's go ahead and see what there is to buy. And I'm going to let Tucker kind of go ahead and uh, take this sketch here because it's kind of pretty. And I think it's of Bella Bachelor or you know who. Bella Goth. Oh, she's so beautiful. Anyway. 
this is awkward <laughs> buying some stuff from your husband ex-husband rather let me get it straight don't want to get twisted so let's see all the cool things that there are to offer i love tanzanite because it's purple of course so we'll buy that we'll get some grape nectar yep um there's even some books for sale a large painting now i just think we're impulse buying i totally do but it's okay uh anything else that i see i think that's it i think we'll just buy those so i don't know if we got ripped off or we got a good deal but i think we're kind of in between because it doesn't say tucker's totally just hogging up the place here this would be a perfect place to freaking put the uh, pedestal but i don't think that's gonna happen um let me go ahead and actually talk to him if we could uh convince tosh the sky is not falling oh so we don't have to go into the future to do that. Oh, well that's easy. Hopefully he'll believe us. I think he's fine with that. No, he doesn't. Oh, he does believe us. Okay, cool. Uh, what is this? Discrub, oh fine. Dis uh, discuss radical idea. Why are you mean to me? I'll freaking punch you in the nose and make your glasses contacts, four eyes. Yeah, buddy. Fine, forget you. And your consignment store. Oh my gosh. Ex-spouses. Marital problems, right? Like for days. What is this? What is this? There's a, a opportunity here. I wonder whose opportunity. It's kind of weird. When is the next concert? You know what? I don't even think I've ever been to one. Um, there is no show now. Come back later. We should totally see a concert. Um, but let's go visit the bowling alley i don't remember where i put it <laughs> like always here it is so we are going to go visit the lot with group and i think we should purchase a car i think i was saving up for a hover car is why why is why why we haven't been spending any money but i think we'll be fine oh god i'm so jealous of all of you who've won like a thousand or a million dollars because like you know how many hover cars i could buy with that <laughs> quite a few i wouldn't be sitting here complaining about it um, that's for damn sure, but I guess money isn't everything, right? That's what they say. That's what they say. All right, let me see. We got some sexy guy here. Ooh. Mm. I don't know. Oh, and look who it is. Connor Frio. If you don't remember, he is from my mini series. Um, my original mini series, actually, the Bachelor mini series. So, all right, let's go ahead and pick a lane. We're gonna bowl with Tucker, and Styles is also a freaking cutie. I would totally hook up with him, but I think she really likes Harkin right now. And then maybe we'll even take some, um, we'll take some photos too later if we get a minute. And I do know for a fact, I, this is a custom content lot, or a customized lot, and I think I already told you guys this, but I got it off of um, the Sims Exchange, I believe, and I know a lot of you have been asking me, what is your Sims 3 name? Well, it, like, that account is so jacked up. So, like, I even have to, like, buy store content on a different account. Like, it's absolutely annoying. Um, I use it. It's my main one, and I'm not going to put my new one on here. Um, but long story short, I got to probably contact EA and try to fix that, actually. Because it's a pain in my culito, to say the least. Like, I have so many friend requests. And it's like, ah, I don't never be able to accept them all. I wish you could just do, like, mass accept. Like, just click it all and then one big accept button. You know what I mean? Because I think I have, like, 600. And manually going through 600 of those where you have to, like, accept, accept, accept. It's super tedious. So I need to, like, kind of make a goal to, like, accept, like, 50 a day or something. And just blast through them. But... Yeah, and I can't upload Sims either. That's another awesome, awesome um, feature of my channel. So, or my uh, page on the Sims 3 website. But anyways, let's focus on these two. Let's see who's winning. Gosh, Tucker, you're freaking natural. Yeah, buddy. I who are you looking at? Cross eyes. <laughs> Jennifer is on her like her grumpy status today. I don't know what's going on with me. All right, let me see, let me see. I think we're done playing with mom. Mom's cool and all, but I wanna actually have him grab a prize. And maybe we'll give it to this girl, Blair Wainwright. She's cute, but nothing captivates Tucker's heart than, or more than Jesse, and he's missing her, oh, so bad. And I think he was actually supposed to go to prom with her. I don't know what's gonna happen now, but we'll see. All right. Look at his face. He's like so into it. So into it. Come on, buddy. Oh, yes. Get the, the, uh, oh. 
sorry. <laughs> Oops. He's shaking his fist. He's so pissed off. Oh, I've got a phone call. Hang on there. All I have to say is, damn the people who call you and hang up. Like, what is that? Why the hell are you calling me just to hear the sound of my voice? And maybe me toot in the background? I'm just kind of confused. Anyways, we're going to let him go ahead and urine, urinate. Urinate. And it appears to me that he's trying to go into the girl's bathroom. And that, uh, Nebula bowled a 25. Which I guess is really, really good. And she wants to bowl five games. Wow, I think we have an addict on our hands. And don't mind me if I do, Connor Frio. Kind of cute. Kind of got a thing for your, uh, you know. God, here we go. Here we go. Are you whistling? <laughs> is he whistling or is he trying to find it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so gross. I love it. All right, guys, let's see what else we can do. There's nobody here, so we can't, like, get anything to eat. Oh, yeah, we can. We can buy a snack. Let's buy brownie. Hash brownie. <laughs> What? Just joking. I've never had any of that stuff. I'm such a lame person. Actually, I'm not even lame. But, like, I don't... I'm such a... I don't know. I don't give in to peer pressure. That's for certain. I know I've been offered so many things. But drugs are for thugs, let me tell you. Um, If you do drugs, I'm not judging you or anything. So don't get it twisted. But I'm just saying, I personally have never done any of that kind of stuff. But... You know, I do know the terminology and all that. I'm not completely an ostrich with his head in the sand. Um, but definitely close. Definitely close. So I think we're going to go ahead and wash his hands now, little dirty bird. Um, set a booby trap. Gosh, you, okay, fine. Set the damn booby trap, please. I know you want to fulfill this want, and I know I want you to, too. So we've actually, um, we're going to watch him do this real quick. He is taking apart the sink. And bada bing, bada boom. And oh my god, okay. You guys want to know a prank? I'll tell you a prank. So, you know how some sinks have like this little thing that kind of comes out and you can like push it and it has a hose attached to it and you can like spray your dishes off really nicely? Well, Mr. or Mrs., whoever's listening, okay, if I get you in trouble, I, you know, I'm only giving you the suggestion. You're doing it. Um, so wrap a rubber band around like the part where you press it. And the next time somebody turns on the sink, it's going to spray them in the crotch. <laughs> I, I don't know where I learned it, but I'm just so tempted to do it to my husband because um, my husband is the kind of guy that pulls pranks on me. And I'm the kind of person that uh, <laughs> I would love to do that to him, but I just haven't had the balls yet. So, oh my goodness. Nebula Colaza has experienced a personality swap from the from being delusional. She is no longer has oh, she no longer has commitment issues. And she will now have the following trait. Period. What? Well, what's her following trait? She lost a trait. How the hell does that happen? Oh my gosh. If she does not get into um the hospital, the new traits will be permanent. Okay, well, I don't want that to happen. So let me go ahead and freaking, um, <sighs> I don't understand. I'm totally missing a trait, aren't I? I'm going to go put it in the hospital. I didn't want to. I wanted to see what happened. But for some stupid reason, um, her trait will be missing if I don't. So with that said, and Nebula heading off to the hospital, leaving this outing slightly confused, I'm going to actually go ahead and wrap up part number, oh, I forgot what we're on, 15? Yeah, right here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. And like always, I will see you all in my very next Let's Play. Bye, guys.